In this exercise, you will add the sloped roof over the station building. Before we begin, let's make a change to our interface to give us a little more screen area for our working views. Select the pin at the upper right of the Explorer dialog. This pins the dialog to the edge of the interface so that it only flies out when we hover our cursor over the pin tab. Now let's create the sloped roof. This requires drawing a closed shape representing the bottom edge of the roof, then using the roof tool to build in the thickness and slope. The roof will be built in several layers to represent exposed wood decking, insulation, and a flat seam metal roof. Set the floor selector to the station roof. Set the family and part to general. Constructions dashed. We'll use this for drawing the roof shape. Tap the space bar to activate the ribbon pop up menu and select the Place Block tool. Place a block shape using two diagonal corners of the exterior wall. Note that the shape is created at the roof elevation. Tap the spacebar to activate the ribbon pop-up menu and select the Move Parallel tool. Select the rectangle and move parallel 2 feet or 600 millimeters to represent the roof overhang. Now we want the overhang at the front of the building to be larger so select the shape and use one of the front corner handles to drag the shape out to the edge of the timber joist. Then do the same on the back side. Now we will also want to make sure that this shape is at the same elevation as the wood joists that support the roof. So we'll make a slight modification to the model. Select the roof shape, then rotate view 3 to a left side orientation. Zoom in to the end of the joist, and then select the Move tool. Select the edge of the shape as the point to move from. Use S to rotate the compass to a side orientation, then use the Enter key to lock the direction. Snap to the top end of the joist and data point to accept. The roof shape should now sit right at the top corner of the wood joist. Now from the Architectural Elements group, select the Roof tool. We will now build the roof up in layers, starting with the bottom layer, which is a wood decking. Select the catalog item, Roof, Wood Decking. Note that under Slope Options, the slope can be controlled by Rise and Run, Angle, or Percentage. Select Rise and Run. Set the slope to 3 and 12. The thickness should be 1.5 inches, or 40 millimeters. Note the other properties that have already been preset for this catalog item. Now set the placement options on the ribbon. Set the roof type to gable, the base offset to zero. You will place by shape and place from bottom. Do not delete constructions yet as we will want to reuse our roof shape for the other layers of the roof. Follow the prompts in the lower left. Select the shape for the roof. Then select the side of the shape along the platform as the side to apply the slope to. Reset or right click to place the roof. With the Roof Builder dialog still open, change the catalog item to Roof Insulation. Note that the thickness of this layer is 4 inches or 100 millimeters. 
On the placement ribbon, change the base offset to one and a half inches or 40 millimeters to offset the thickness of the wood decking. Again, select the shape for the roof. Select the side of the shape along the platform as the side to apply slope to and reset or right click to place the roof. With the Roof Builder dialog still open, change the catalog item to Roof Flat Seam Metal. Note that the thickness of this layer is 2 inches or 50 millimeters. On the placement ribbon, change the base offset to 5.5 inches or 140 millimeters to allow for the two layers already placed. And since this is the last layer, you can toggle on the Delete Construction option. Again, select a shape for the roof. Select the side of the shape along the platform as the side to apply slope to, and reset or right click to place the roof. All three layers of the roof have been placed in the model. In a later session, we will add an edge profile to the roof to cover the exposed layers. In this session, you placed a sloped roof in the model, defining and modeling each layer of the roof. In the next session, you will modify the heights of the walls placed earlier so that they meet the underside of the roof. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.